Hey, what's that in your ear? It's a quarter. Magic. Hi, I'm Jeremy. Welcome to Steampunk Power Ups, the show where we make awesome educational resources and experiences. Today we are talking about the Magic Select tool, and it is aptly named. The Magic Select tool is truly magical. This is a tool that is in Paint 3D. So uh, what it does is it lets you select a portion of an image. So if you've got want to make something into a PNG, you don't want it to be in the background there, you can go ahead and just select a portion of it, and you can use that piece. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we've got here. So imagine we've got this lovely little dragon on the wide world of the internet here, and we want to bring him into Paint 3D to edit him. One way we could do that is with the snipping tool. It's that little scissors there if you've got it pinned to your toolbar, otherwise you can just search for it and it will pop right up there. And we'll go ahead and do a new snip here. And then we'll just select around our dragon. And what the snipping tool is, is like a, it's, it's like a, a por partial screenshot. You can select the par portion of the screen that you want to use. Then we can go to edit and we can go to edit with paint 3D and it will open it up with paint 3D for us there. And we'll have our image in there and then we can do some editing on it. So my last video, I showed you guys how to make some GIF item cards. So this magic select tool and the kind of the tools I'm showing you today is, is a way that sort of helps that process. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to the canvas here and go to transparent canvas, which doesn't look like much to start with. And then what you can do is you can just select this guy with the magic select tool. So you can go ahead and crop around whatever portion of it you want. So, I could crop around this whole thing and then pull that dragon off, but part of this process that I want to show you is how to get like different parts. So let's say I just wanted the head of this. I could go ahead and crop around the head and hit next. And then uh, notice here it's got kind of the blue line around the part that's selected. And let's say that I didn't want this little piece of the neck there. I could go ahead and hit to remove that and use the remove tool here and just chop that little piece off. That looks pretty good and hit done. And now I got this floating little dragon head. So then what I could do later is I'll be able to move this separate from the rest of the body so that I can animate him. So I've got that head. Let's go ahead and just delete the rest of that. And I can do that with the select tool here. So we'll go ahead and select all of the rest of that there and goodbye. And now I've got basically just a PNG of the head here. So that's pretty fancy, that's pretty neat. So now let's say that I wanted the dragon, I don't know, maybe to, to turn his head and wink. So a way that I could do that is to make that eye look like it's closing, is I could get my brushes here and I could color in the eye so it looks like it's closed. Now, I could try to go through custom colors forever and never figure out exactly what color that eye is. Or what I could do is I could use this little paint dropper tool here and I could select a color right from the, uh, the dragon himself. And so then I know it's a pretty good match. So then I can go ahead and let's see, I like the pencil tool to start with. So I can start with the pencil tool. And actually, you know, what can be really helpful with this is if we just zoom in to start with here, right? So there we go. So I've got the pencil tool selected there. So I can start coloring in there. And I like the pencil tool because it gives me some texture, but it doesn't, uh, it's not like just solid like the pen at first, or it's not, uh, it's a little bit more precise than like the spray bottle. So, uh, so I like to start with the pencil and, and maybe add some like darker so that when he closes his eye, you can kind of see there. And then maybe what I'll do is switch to the spray bottle, right? And then, and then sort of mist over there. And you can see because I'm selecting colors right from the, the, from the, I want to say dinosaur, but from the dragon himself, it matches really good. And now, boom, just like that, because I've zoomed in and been careful, it looks like his eyes closed. So there we go. Pretty great. 
Um, so then once you've done that, you can go ahead and save it and you can do several of these, right? So I've got a little file here that's got like some heads with the eyes closed. I've got the body separate. I've got the neck separate so that I can put all those things together to make some GIF item cards. Now, um, let, let me show you those real quick. So you can watch my GIF video if you would like um, to, to see kind of how I put all these together and the site that I use for that. Um, but see, once you've kind of gotten some parts, then you can manipulate them separately, then you can make item cards. So this is my baby Phoenix. All right, here's my, my baby dragon. You know, he closes his eyes and goes to sleep, and then he wakes back up. All right, and then probably the cutest item card I have ever made is this baby griffin card. So he blinks, he turns his head at you like, huh, what's going on? And there we go. So there it is, three awesome little tools there for you. The the snip tool, the magic select tool, and the the little, little paint dropper tool. So you can pull colors right from your palette. So hopefully this video has been enlightening to you. Hopefully it's been helpful to you. If it has, then I would love it if you could help out the channel by subscribing. Uh, also a like and a comment would be helpful. And if you wanna get notified with those subscriptions, go ahead and hit the bell. If you'd like to see that GIF, uh, video that I was talking about. You can go ahead and check that out. Maybe here somewhere it will show up. Maybe subscribing will be here somewhere. I don't know. We'll see when it comes up. You'll, you'll get the idea that they'll pop up in there. And then if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at Mr. Cedarquist. So that's it for today's video. That will uh, that'll be good. So until next time, go out and make something awesome.